Good grouper, you are late, you are fired. Oh, the humanity! I'm late only once, you cannot fire me! This is an animal poaching front, we do not need janitors. My job is of paramount importance, for who will clean up the dead animals after you murder them and cut them off? Good point, compadre. I revise my previous words of discouragement. My greatest of gratitude, good friend. Watch out! What be the problem, dear Goifer? Tis the bastard. He does bite mine arm. Condolences. A measly peck on the arm, and by a lowly flat bastard at that. Oh, how this infliction hath left my self indisposed as such. It seems there is naught left for me but to wait for the convalescence granted by morning. Typical. Woe is me. An endless night of nightmarish visions, and perverted hallucinations ensue. Bog's subconscious is chaotic, and his agonizing state only worsens in his sleep. Look what they have done. Wrung the form from my face like a savage fiend. I am no man or flat bastard. Instead, a grotesque half blind from the abyss. For what purpose can a flat bastard man with such as I serve? Surely endeared by civilization no longer. Regretfully, I must resort to all I'm acquainted. Kicking ass. Truly, it is a devilish plane on which I must endure this hardship. The very rectifications of my own design must befall this kingdom of cruelty. I shall accept my revenge on this curse of bread in one way or another. No time to settle this mortal friction. From henceforth, no obstruction will my undertakings bear. My benevolence shall mercifully put the rest this plane of cruelty. It's sodded with revenge. Bog Groiper plots to destroy society. Salutation, society. Yours truly. Flat bastard man hath journeyed here to slaughter ye indiscriminately. <gasps> oh God, it's flat bastard man! Come and save us! We are doomed. There is no salvation. Prepare to be stabbed, a wench. <gasps> My friend, no! Flat bastard man. Society never betrayed you. You betray society. There's still good in you, Boo Goopa. Remember who you are. Remember! With what heinous act hath these hands of mine been stained? The camaraderie is severed of my own volition. I let myself be surrendered to the flat bastard. Vedily, I am an ignoramus of utmost magnitude. I will not permit your death a consequence devoid of meaning, my dearest janitor. I resolve to smite any who would dare follow in my prior self footsteps. He who deems to oppose society shall meet the unadulterated might of the flat bastard. A true force of reckoning.
fat bastard man goes home and drowns his sorrow in alcohol, which reverses him back into a human. I am Dr. Cringe! I am evil! Yeah, man. The evilest there ever is. You get me, yeah? I already know that you're blizzarded, Bangui! Go and fetch me my big cup bucket! I will blow up the White House! Yes. That would be the Bangui threatened Like you are, my dark compadre! <laughs> These powers, of which I originally deemed a curse, have been shed of my tempered perspective. A new light illuminates them in their blessed aggregate. Granted the capacity to transform of one's accord, bestowed the will to exact my volition, assuredly I have been dubbed by fate itself as the keeper of society. Though if I am to fulfill my destiny, I must fully realize my powers. I knew there was still good in you, darling Boo. I have heard tell of the Buddha monk who is familiar with the mysterious ways of the flat bastard. Seek him out. Learn from him. He was sized at the top of Mount Everest. I take your words to heart, truest of friend. Seek him out, I shall. I'm flat. I don't know who you are. What? <gasps> Train me, I beg of you, Sir Buddha Monk. I accept your request, but first I must tell you of the powers which you have been given. You were bitten by a rare and magical creature, the radioactive flat bastard. Though if you do not learn to control the powers you wield, you will be consumed by them. You must understand. The flat bastard is a mysterious and fickle creature. It answers not to those in need, yet seemingly grants unyielding power to those who would appear to need it least. The lens through which it gazes enlightens a fate to which only the flat bastard has bestowed vision, and the sacrifice of which only the flat bastard will have the means to perceive. Purely your purpose it remains an illusion, your discretion a facade. The flat bastard sees all and knows all. You remain a puppeted device of which the flat bastard uses to ascertain the passage of time itself. I thank you, wise Buddha monk. I will train you now. I have taught you all I know, dear Boog. My time has come. No, Buddha monk. There's still so much I want to learn. I know not where to go from here. You must save society, Boog. A villain named Dr. Crinch has blown up the White House. The world is in peril. Save everyone before it is too late. I will slay Dr. Cringe! Oh, what hath he done? Defiled the sacred stronghold of sanctity. A declaration of defiance. He shall not be void of peril. Mm -hmm. well, I'll see that. It's me. I'm dying. It is too late for me. Mm -hmm. You are the only one who can save us now. Mm -hmm. Dr. Crunch is going to fill the Grand Canyon with milk. Oh. You must stop him. Flat past him, man. <laughs> Save your 
first of voyage has finally led you to me. I've awaited this moment, my esteemed rival. Just you wait, Dr. Cringe. I'm going to kick your behind. You've got another thing coming. My trusty flat bastard, Lord Trident, lend me your strength once more, and then never again. I see you haven't given up. Regardless, your efforts remain in vain. You're an idealistic fool. Society can never truly be protected. There will always be death and explosions and milk. And there is nothing that can stop that. It is a fact of life that must be accepted. No! That's wrong!